Hello and welcome to Enabling F5 Distributed Cloud Client-Side Defense in Big IP 17.1. My name is Kyle Roberts and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Engineer with F5. In this video demonstration, we'll be taking a look at the newly released Big IP version 17.1 and focusing in on how to get up and running quickly with the Distributed Cloud Client-Side Defense service. In the latest Big IP release version 17.1, we continue to extend, enhance, and simplify application security, delivery, and automation that Big IP platforms deliver for applications. In this release, we're also empowering our customers with the Distributed Cloud Services Integration Module, enabling customers to leverage their existing Big IP deployments to apply cloud-based security services to application transactions from within the Big IP console. These security services enable application owners and security personnel to leverage market-leading bot and fraud cloud connectors to enable a simple and secure integration with F5 distributed cloud services. Distributed cloud client-side defense connectivity enables a self-managed service that seamlessly integrates with F5's big IP to protect against client-side attacks such as Magecart, digital skimming, form jacking, PII harvesting, and other types of browser-based supply chain attacks. By providing real-time monitoring of a web application's JavaScript libraries for malicious activities, Distributed Cloud Client-Side Defense protects consumer data from being accessed by cyber criminals and assists organizations in meeting the new PCI DSS 4.0 requirements. Now let's jump into a product demo and see how easy it is to get up and running with Client-Side Defense in Big IP 17.1. Our client-side defense demo will start out by onboarding the application domain to the distributed cloud client-side defense console. Next, we'll inject the client-side defense JavaScript into all transactions between the client and our application using the new client-side defense integration with Big IP 17.1. Once these two steps are completed, we'll have visibility into the script activity running in our web applications, regardless of how deep they live in the JavaScript supply chain. Getting started with F5 Distributed Cloud Client-Side Defense is extremely easy using our self-service portal. After signup has been completed, you'll land on the homepage of the Distributed Cloud platform. From here, we can see the Client-Side Defense service. Let's click on the tile to access it. Inside of the Client-Side Defense console, we can see the configuration menu. This is where we'll begin our configuration by adding the domain of the pages that we're protecting. Since the client-side defense solution is JavaScript-based, we have both manual and automated methods to inject the JavaScript onto our pages. We'll be copying parameters from this JavaScript for upcoming steps in the demo, so make sure it's easily accessible. For this demo use case, we'll automate the JavaScript injection with our Big IP 17.1 integration. Inside of our Big IP configuration console, you can see the new distributed cloud services module, which contains our market-leading bot and fraud cloud connectors. Let's click on the client-side defense menu to begin our configuration. Before we get started, you can always reference the context-sensitive help feature as shown here for help with building this profile to find the domain pool information, JavaScript path, or customer ID as additional documentation. Let's go ahead and create a new client-side defense profile. The first thing you can see is that we have two options, basic and advanced. For our demo, let's use basic. Now let's fill in the required fields. We'll give our profile a name. Then we'll need to configure the API domain pool. As a side note, the API domain pool is displayed only if the use proxy server equals no. You can find the API domain in the F5 distributed cloud console that is part of the source URL in the CSD JavaScript tag. Let's add the API domain pool by clicking the plus sign and giving it a name. Then we'll paste the copied domain name in the address field. Select port 443 and HTTPS from the dropdown. Next, we'll select an SSL profile that will be attached to a new internal virtual server for routing traffic to the service pool. For our demo, we'll use the default server SSL. The JavaScript path can also be found in the CSD JavaScript tag inside of the distributed cloud console. Look for the path starting with slash underscore IMP underscore APG in the JS URL. Next, let's get our customer ID and paste it back into the profile. The telemetry domain can be found as a default value in the advanced profile. 
We'll need to copy this and use it to create our telemetry domain pool. This is also an HTTPS based service on port 443. Next, we'll select an SSL profile that will be attached to a new internal virtual server for routing traffic to the telemetry pool. The next step in our configuration is to apply our client-side defense profile to the virtual server for our web application. Inside of the virtual server, we'll go to the Distributed Cloud Services tab and enable the client-side defense service. Now let's select our CSD demo profile. At this point, client-side defense JavaScript is now being injected into all traffic that matches our criteria for this virtual server. Back inside of the Distributed Cloud Client-side Defense console, malicious third-party scripts will now be detected and reported for your pages into the console. Now let's look at our alert notification options for F5 Distributed Cloud. By navigating to Audit Logs and Alerts, we can see that there is an alert receiver already configured with the type of email sending to our account email address. If we edit this configuration, we can see the other alert receiver options. We see Slack, PagerDuty, SMS, and others as well. Thanks for tuning in to Enabling F5 Distributed Cloud Client-Side Defense in Big IP 17.1. We'll see you next time.